All right, Cancer, these are going to be your guidance cards for the week of April 4th through April 10th of 2021. So energy of the week, you have patience. Patience says that you are waiting for something that you do not have. Um, a lot of times in, when this card comes out, it is signifying that we are living with a lack mentality. Like you're living as if you don't have something and you can't live without it. Um, so, Cancer, let's see. it says that you want to live as if you already have what it is that you're waiting for because that way you're more open to receiving that energy. So, if you feel like you're waiting for something and it's just never arriving, it's kind of like saying just um, to let it go. Try to uh, not think about it so often. That it. We're going to clarify our energy of the week with our numinous astro deck and this is going to tell you where in your own personal birth chart um, you are probably needing to, to use this patience. Okay, so you have Mercury and Mercury did just move into Aries um, on the 3rd, um, but Mercury is about communication. Um, it says words, thoughts, analysis, information, learning, trade, um, awareness, vision, perception. But I feel like it's communication. You're waiting for some sort of communication. Um, it's possible that you're waiting for some sort of like analysis or some sort of information. Um, something like that. Let's see if we can figure out what this is that you're waiting for. All right, Cancer, a challenge or obstacle that you might face this week, you have a chariot. So it's movement. So you're waiting for something to happen. So it's clearly the same situation. Lesson you've already learned that can help you with that challenge or obstacle. You have the five of pentacles. Okay, so the five of pentacles represents you bringing yourself out from the cold. Um, it could be about abandonment, like you feel like someone left you behind, that kind of situation. But this is in your lessons already learned. So this tells me that you've had to um, like pick yourself up before, something like that. So I feel like it's, you're waiting for someone to tell you something that's going to help you maybe do something that you're wanting to do or something that you're waiting for. I feel like it's telling you very much that you're going to have to do whatever this is on your own. All right, Cancer, and there it is, the outcome. It's death. So death is, of course, death in rebirth. And it means that an old way of doing something, um, like you're, you're not going to do it that way anymore. All right, Cancer, we are going to clarify. We're going to use the Light Seer's Tarot to clarify. So for the Chariot, you have the Hanged Man. So it is about your waiting. Um, the hanged man is like being suspended in time. Like you feel like nothing is happening. There's no movement. Um, something like that. That is what your challenge or obstacle is. You're waiting for this communication or this information and you don't see it coming in. And I feel like you're waiting for someone to bring it to you, Cancer. And it's clearly saying that you're going to have to do this yourself. But you do. Um, because when you do, you end this. Wow. Um, you end this. Um, waiting. You end this period of like waiting for someone else to do something. But the Five of Pentacles, you have the Ten of Cups. So the Ten of Cups is like your family house, your family home, um, like a happy home, happy family, that type of situation. Um, so I feel like it's you and your family. This is what your concern. Um, like where you're at and this is like what's going to help you um, with this lack of movement. And then for the death card you have eight of pentacles which tells me you've worked really hard for this transformation. Um, you've worked really hard to maybe not rely on someone else. Something like that. Alright we are going to do our guidance from Queen of the Moon. And we'll do two of them Cancer. One at the beginning of the week and one at the end of the week. So let's see what guidance we can get for this um, waiting. This You're waiting for movement. If we get patience again, we're just going to have to. <laughs> Alright, let's see. 
change. <laughs> okay, so change talks about how um, sometimes we don't want change, right? Like nobody really is comfortable with change. We don't really like it too often. We get comfortable and set in our ways. So I feel like this could go two ways. This could be for someone who's waiting for something to happen to them or for them. And the guidance here is just saying, focus on you and your family and you are going to change it. Like you're, no one's going to do it for you is what I'm getting. And I feel like you've worked really hard for this transformation. Um, or this could be for someone who is choosing to stay stuck, like choosing not to take movement. Uh, maybe like choosing not to communicate with someone, something like that. And the reason I feel that is because um, on change, it can go either way. Like, so if you're going the first way, you're using this moon and she's going to like bounce. She's going to push her, like her momentum is going to push off this moon. It's going to catapult her into her change, right? Um, and she's doing it on purpose. She's worked really hard for this. Um, or it's coming at her and it's a force coming at her and she's trying to push it away. So it's one or the other. So if you are finding yourself maybe not wanting um, to communicate with someone, it could have something to do with family. I feel like it's clearly telling you that it's time to end the situation and it's time to start a new situation. It's time for change. Um, and if you are someone who um, is choosing like to stay where you are and you know that um, Maybe you've got some sort of communication and you know that there's something you're supposed to be doing, but you're choosing not to. I feel like, again, it's telling you to focus on your family. You've worked really hard for whatever the situation is that's coming in. So even if it's like change that you don't necessarily want, um, it all ends up working out for the greater good, right? Like that's the whole thing. But a lot of times I feel like it's something that we're like pushing away and we're not accepting, we're not wanting. And then you have self-reflection. And self-reflection talks about how um, make sure that when something is happening, so if I'm speaking to someone who's like not talking to their family member, something like that, um, self-reflection says make sure that you realize that um, you're not an innocent party. Um, everyone has equal faults to whatever the situation is. Um, and once you can accept and acknowledge your own fault in whatever the situation is, you can start to forgive yourself, then you can start to forgive others, and that's how you heal. Um, if this is for someone who is accepting of the change, um, self-reflection could be asking you... Okay, I don't feel like it's asking you. I feel like it's telling you that this is what you have to look forward to, right? So the first guidance card is what you use when the situation is happening. The second guidance card is what happens like after this transformation. And it says, choose to turn inwards to quietly contemplate who and what you are and what you want. The more you know about yourself, the more you'll be able to steer yourself well. So if you are finding yourself in a lot of there's a big change is happening in your life. I feel like it's telling you very much to like focus on yourself, your own family, like what's going to make you personally happy, something like that. All right, Cancer. We're going to end it with a Moonology card, and this is going to help with your thoughts and emotions. Um, I do feel like it's going to be an emotional week. I do see a lot of cups, but I feel like it's more... Um, of course, it's just the Ten of Cups. I said I see a lot of cups. Um, I do feel like it's emotional, but I feel like it's because it's so personal. Alright. So, for your thoughts and emotions, you have balance, spirituality, and practicality. So, I feel like balance is the key word here, um, but make sure that... Um, you're thinking things through in like a, the most practical um, way possible. All right, Cancer, I'm going to leave it there. I feel like that is your guidance for the week. Have a great week. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, if it feels like your tribe, please like and subscribe.